Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mama. Sweetheart, I haven't seen you in so long. You've got to do better about coming around to visit. I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Oh, it's okay. I know you kids are busy. You doing okay, Mama? Me? I'm doing great. Don't worry about me. So, how's Parker? Oh, he's good. You know, he asked about you. He wants you to know he's praying for you. That's sweet. You tell him thank you. You know, I am so proud of you. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mama. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in so long. You know, you've got to do better about coming around to visit. I will. I promise. It's okay. I know you kids are busy. How's Parker? Mama? Yes, sweetheart? Let's do your poem. You know, the moment I knew my life had changed, you still remember it, don't you? I love to hear it. The moment I knew my life had changed. I could never forget that. Go on. It was not until later that I knew that I recognized the moment for what it was. My life before, a gray, gray landscape, landscape, shapeless and misty. misty. My, My life after, flowering, full and leafy as the cherry trees that only today have torn into bloom. Imagine, my cousin at 19, tall, slender. She worked in New York City. And for my 13th birthday, she took me to New York. We ate at the Russian tea room while I was uncertain about which fork to use. Intimidated by the woman in their hats and furs. <laughs> by the waiters who watched as I struggled with the huge hunk of bread in the center of the onion soup. When we were ready to leave, I tried to give the tip back to my cousin. I thought she had forgotten it. But she said, no, that's for the waiter. On 57th Street, a man in a camel coat bumped into me, just rushed on by. My cousin said, hey, that was Eddie Fisher. But I said, no, he's too short, it can't be. I felt let down that Eddie Fisher, the star I was in love with that year, was so rude. I mean, he never even said, excuse me. But then... We went into the theater, sat in the front row, and the stage sprang into colored light. The glittery costumes, the, the singing, the magical story drew me in, made me feel in that moment I would learn again and again the miraculous language, the music of it. My life, turning away from that constricted world of the 19th Street tenement, formed a line almost perpendicular to that old life. And I moved towards it, breathed in this new air, racing toward a world filled with poems and music and books that freed me from everything that could have chained me to the ground. You'll outgrow your shoes. You'll outgrow your bed. You'll outgrow this house. Just don't forget. When you're all grown up, but you don't feel that way, you're still gonna be my baby. Even when you're my age. 